In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what WordPress post metadata is, where it is on post pages, how to find it in the database, and what it's used for in WordPress, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and you like learning hacks and tricks and all kinds of stuff to help you get better at it, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you there. Post metadata or post meta is just extra information that WordPress stores about a post. If we go to any post in our dashboard or in our WordPress site, I should say, and we take this one for example, let's just open it in the editor. We have the main content that is the title, the actual content, the URL, that's the main content. The metadata are things like the date, how many revisions it has, the category it's in, who the author is, which is somewhere down here. The author, as we see down here now, that's part of the post metadata. And it's just extra information about a post kept in a separate table in the database. So if we wanted to see the metadata for this post, we find the post ID, which is in the URL. So the post ID is 905. So remember that, or I should anyway. We go into our cPanel. We open up PHP My Admin. We open up our database by clicking the plus. There's a lot of tables in here. A lot of these are created by plugins. These are not all core database tables for WordPress. So yours will look different depending on what kind of plugins you have installed. But the post meta table, everybody has in every WordPress site which is underscore post metadata. Mine has a prefix of WPR4. Yours may be just WP, maybe something else, but there's always a post meta at the end. And the actual information of the post, the content, the title, things like that, are in the posts table. If we open post meta, we're gonna see all of the entries in the post meta table. There are currently 2,627 for this demo site. Our post has an ID of 905. So if we find post ID 905 in here, that will be the metadata for that post. So I'm just gonna change how many rows are shown from 25 to 500. I'm gonna sort this so we're ascending from zero up to whatever number the last post ID is. And I'm gonna just gonna search for, by pressing Command F or Control F, search for 905, not found on this page. I click on this little arrow to go to the next page. Since there's a lot of different entries, it's gonna go page by page. Okay, we found the post ID of 905. There are 27 entries of 905. So this post has 25 post meta items. And like we saw earlier, that includes things like the date, the author, the last edit is the last person who edited it. The number one is the user ID of that person. And depending on what plugins you have installed, you may have more or less post metadata, but there is a lot of post metadata for most posts. And when you install plugins, it's gonna add post metadata. I'm gonna show you in later videos how to create post meta boxes. So you can add a box just like this, like this excerpt box, for example, or this custom fields box. You add a meta box where you can enter more information for that post. That goes into the post meta table, which can then be output through a template onto your website. And this is kind of the setup video for that. And this is answering the question of what is post metadata and where to find it in your database. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.